Hey guys, I've had someone recently ask me why um, I don't react to the gacha revenue page uh, despite the fact that I play gacha games. It's because most of this did not interest me and I, I don't know enough about the market itself and I'm mostly free to play. Um, so I don't think my opinion on this is all that important. Still, I am going to try to do my best reacting to this, all right? So let's let's go to the page and see what we can do. So we've got Love and Deep Space. I know this is basically a, an e-dating game more than a, a real true-to-core gacha game. It's extremely popular in China only. I don't think it, it has any any uh, uh, pull, any push on global. It's mainly China. And as far as I know, it's just a romantic stuff for girls, right? So we're going to ignore this. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove China and individual countries i'm just going to relieve global and global japan here so that that will leave us with games that i'm more familiar with um from this list the games i've tried and the games i know about are basically honka Sirail, zenless zone zero um what else weathering ways for sure genshin impact absolutely and this may surprise some of you. Where is it? I bet it's way down somewhere. Oh god. Oh, here it is. Tower of Fantasy. So these are the games I play, okay? Or played. So, um, based upon this, I'm gonna say I'm really not surprised to see Genshin in second place. Um it's another game, but it's a game that overall has been consistently being in the top five because it's an amazing game that I absolutely adore. And it's, in my opinion, it's the number one gacha game ever. So I'm really not surprised to see Genshin here at all. As for the others, um, my opinion of Honkai Star Rail, uh, I'm not a big fan because I don't like turn-based games and I don't like games that uh, do not allow fr free exploration. And you can't even jump on this game. So I feel like um, the fact that it's turn-based and the fact that um, you cannot explore the world freely with it, with the characters you choose um, kind of put me off. So this is not high on my priority list. Zenless Zone Zero, my problem with it is that I find the combat to be way too simplistic. Uh, I tried this game out. I gave it a chance, but it's just not for me. So what are the games that I really play and I really enjoy? Genshin, number one. Uh, Wuthering Wing Waves and Tower of Fantasy are pretty tied up on the second place for me, personally. So if I were to do a tier list, I'd say Genshin is here on the S tier. Absolutely, is my number one game. Uh, I'd say Wuthering Wing Waves and Tower of Fantasy are solid A's for me. I know a lot of people will question this, and a lot, of, a lot of people don't like Tower of Fantasy, but Tower of Fantasy, nowadays, it's pretty damn solid. It feels really good to play. You can do a lot as a free-to-play player. The game I'm, I have on the background is actually Tower of Fantasy. I'm going to do my, my accounts login for the day. I'm going to do my dailies and collect my weapons. Uh, not my weapons, but like wishes that they give for free because I'm trying to collect weapons. And I think they have, they currently have like, um, as usual, a patch thing. If you log in 15 days, you get a free weapon box. And th that's something that I'm always chasing because I want my, char my character to have as many weapons as possible. And this is not an ad, by the way, I really enjoyed the game. I've played it on stream before. Same, same with Weathering Waves. I put uh, Zenless Zone Zero as a B and I put Star, Star Wars as a C. And again, the reason for that is combat too simplistic and turn-based. I'd say Genshin is by far the best gacha game ever because of the reactions. Like, I'm about to play Genshin tonight once 5.1 comes out. And I'm 100% pulling for Shilonen because she's going to be a game changer for me. Um, my only healer nowadays is Kakomi and having a secondary healer in the form of Shilonen will be like really good for my teams because that way I can have uh, two solid healers I can trust and build two different teams with. 
and uh, I really like Geo. Um, I have Zongli on one on account, and I, I want to pull them on my other account. So having like a solid uh, Geo core will actually be very good as well. Um, in any case, Genshin is my number one game because not only the, is it exploration top tier, but I also really love the combat and I really lo love the way the elements react to each other. And pulling for a character actually makes a whole difference in your account because um, you create reactions so a new character can make can symbolize the creation of a lot of new teams that you can play with. So that's something basically exclusive to Genshin and uh, something that I love the game for, right? Uh, Weathering Waves right now, um, I feel like it had a really solid start, but it doesn't really have characters that appeal to me personally outside of, outside of Ling Yang. Ling Yang was the first character uh, I went straight to pull. I have him, he's my main. I pulled some other five stars as well, but there's no, and I even got like the free five star they gave, uh, the giveaway. But like, I normally play Wuthering Ways when there's a character I must, I want to pull. So I'm kind of waiting to come back to the game whenever there's a, a new character I want to pull. Tower of Fantasy, I play occasionally when, there, when uh, I ran out of content on Genshin. And I really like the exploration. I think the exploration is even better than Genshin at some and sometimes. Uh, the combat is really good as well. I think it can get a little bit repetitive, but other than that, um, I absolutely love this game. I think it's way underrated. Um, it, it used to be really bad at the beginning, but nowadays it's top tier for me. Uh, I've, I'm really excited to see what Hada Studios will do with uh, Neverness to, uh, to Everness, which is their new game, and is looking like a, a GTA 5 esque uh, gacha game. Um, it's gonna be amazing, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. ZZZ again, I find the combat to be way too simplistic, and that's the only thing that puts me off from playing this game more. Um, if the combat was as, at least as good as either Wuthering Waves or uh, Genshin, I would definitely play it more. But um, again, um, combat makes or breaks a game for me, and that's why ZZZ is a B. And Star Rail, I love the character designs, I love the character concepts, but I just cannot get into it because it not only it's turn-based, but you can also get the game to play itself. So it can set up auto autoplay and that, that kind of stuff just puts me off immensely. But I do acknowledge that it's the number one gacha game in terms of revenue and people love it. But I, I would also like to add a, a counterpoint to this, which is this little thing here give me a second let's do a google trends and let's put all the games i mentioned in a graph right so let's do genshin impact explorer we're gonna go uh, it, said brazil, it says brazil because i'm brazil but let's put global let's make it past five years let's compare it to weathering waves Let's uh, compare it to Honkai Star Rail. Let's compare it to Zenless Zone Zero. And let's compare it to Tower of Fantasy. So, as you can see, Genshin is the number one gacha game when it comes to player interest and i think that's that this will always be the case all right i think this this will never change this will ne this is never going to change genshin just has an appeal to a wide uh broad player base and that's never gonna gonna be affected by any other game people used to say that uh Wuthering waves was gonna kill genshin uh they say that about a lot of games to be completely fair but it just never happens because Genshin is just so good, and I don't th I don't see any other any other game being able to challenge Genshin anytime soon. That being said, um, I really love Wuthering Ways and uh, Tower of Fantasy as well. They are great games, and I always play them in my off time. Even if I don't play them on stream, um, I'm always playing them. I keep up with them, and I, I really appreciate them. But yeah, that's that's my take on the gacha revenue. That's my take on uh, gacha games in general.
if you haven't tried any of the games I mentioned, um, I highly suggest you try them. And uh, I also really appreciate the fact that Tower Fantasy is the only one that's an actual MMO out of those. I hope Neverness to, uh, Ever Never Neverness to Everness will have also the MMO aspect of letting you make your own character to to experience the world with. Because that's what I love the most about, about Tower of Fantasy. But that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick video about gacha games. I'll see you later. Bye.